Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I'd share with you my home screen setup and show you step by step how I achieved it. But before we jump right into it, make sure you like and subscribe for more tech tips and weekly movie reviews. So, how did I take this? boring note 10 straight out of the box and turn it into this? Let's get straight into it. First things first, make sure you head to the Play Store and download Nova Launcher. If you want the greatest customization for your phone, I highly recommend this launcher. And for this setup, I do use the Prime version. Personally, when I start a brand new setup, I always like to start afresh. So work your way through the setup process until you get to this screen. Now long press on the home screen and get to the Nova Launcher settings. Now if you have the Prime version, you'll have the notification badges as well as the gesture controls unlocked. Next head over to the home screen settings and change to 7 down by 6 across. And while we're here, we're also going to hide the dock. Don't forget to set Nova as your default launcher. And finally, let's move over to full screen navigation controls. This option can be found in your phone settings. And now let's remove any unwanted items from the home screen. Now let's head back to the Play Store and find a high quality wallpaper app. The two that I would recommend are the wallpaper and background and the 4K wallpapers as they both have a large collection of free to use high definition images. You should definitely check them out. But if you want something different like live video wallpapers, make sure you check out last week's video where I showed you how you can create your own. Now once you've found an image that you like, just set it as your wallpaper and let's move on to the next step. Now let's head back to the Play Store and install the KWGT Custom Widget Maker, the Custom Widget Pro Key and the CN Sun KWGT Pack. Don't worry, this will be the last time you have to visit the Play Store. Now let's head back to our home screen and configure KWGT Widgets. As you're scrolling through your widgets, you'll notice that KWGT comes in various sizes. For this setup, we'll be using the 4x4. Simply drag, drop and resize to fit your home screen. So once you're set, just simply tap on the icon and KWGT opens up. And here you can see the full list of packs installed, including the Sun and Sea pack. The widget that we're looking for is number 67 from the Sun and Sea pack. Now simply select the template and it will apply on your home screen. And if you want to adjust the positioning, just long press and move it around. So now let's take this template and customize it to something a bit more useful for our day to day use. You should be able to open the customization screen for the widget by simply tapping on it or by opening the KWGT app. Now once you're in, the options on the lower part of the screen is what you'd use to edit your widget. Just simply tap or swipe to get through the options. Don't worry, it's quite simple once you understand how it all works. All of the different elements of the widget can be found in the item section and in most cases the widget will actually be organized in different layers. This means that you can adjust the whole widget at once or each individual item as you see fit being able to change their positioning, size or color. I highly recommend you play around here and see what each option does. Now let's customize this widget. The first thing we're going to do is replace some of the elements on the widget that we don't use. Starting with replacing Google Plus with Facebook. So using the item section tick boxes, narrow down where that item is in a group and tap in until you get to shape and font icons for Google Plus. Here we're going to go into shape, paint and change the color to blue. And if you want to add effects such as gradients to the colouring, you can also do that here. 
Next, head on back to the Shape and Font Icons menu, head into Icons and replace the Google Plus icon with Facebooks. And now all that's left to do is make sure that Facebook opens instead of Google Plus. Head on back to the Shape and Font Icons menu and head to the Touch option. And this is where we can adjust the functionality of the icon that we just replaced. Once you're done, just hit save and the changes will apply to your home screen. Now let's just double check that all of the links work and let's move on. Now let's reposition the whole widget to fit the wallpaper. But as you can tell, it doesn't go all the way to the edge of the screen. So let's head back into the widget maker and enlarge the widget elements. Instead of changing each individual item's size, you can actually change the overall group size instead. And remember, positioning is an absolute, so feel free to move things around. Next, we're going to replace Twitter with camera and more apps with the phone. So now we're just repeating the steps previously mentioned and using the tick boxes to see what items are selected. If you like the video so far, make sure you like and subscribe to support the channel. Now that that's out of the way, Let's add a few more elements to this widget to complete the setup. Let's now add icons for Chrome, Twitter and Snapchat. So what we're actually going to do is create a whole new group for these apps to avoid any sort of clashing or confusion. Just simply press the plus icon at the top of the screen and add an overlap group. Now that we have a new group, let's start creating our icons. To simply tick off the Facebook app overlay group which houses the Facebook icon and shape and copy and paste it to the new group. Now let's start repositioning and changing the icon just like before. So now repeat these steps to the remaining apps and eventually you get to this. Congratulations, you're now done. You have a next generation home screen. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do an expert or beginner's guide into home screen setups. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and weekly movie reviews. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.